Hello everyone, I'm Ron Ray with Sundowner Trailers and today we're going to talk to you about our new Contractor XP. But the first thing that we want to talk to you about is one of the cool options uh, that's on the trailer. It's actually a standard equipment on the Contractor XP and that is our 48 inch side double wall holocourt struted side slat that we use. We use that on our stock trailers, our workhorse cargoes, and also on the Contractor XP. As you can see here, I've got a piece of this. Very, very heavy duty, very durable. If you'll see, it's got a holocore slat. One thing that the uh, construction guys really like about this option, as well as horse and stock trailer too, people too, is how durable it is. I'm literally gonna take a test here. I'm gonna beat the inside of this with a ball peen hammer. And you'll see it's not gonna show up on the outside. So let me demonstrate for you what I'm gonna do here. Literally, beat that with a ball peen hammer. Doesn't show up on the outside of the slat. That's a double wall holocore extruded side slat. That's an extrusion that ex uh, we had made that's exclusive for us here at Sundowner Trailers. Here we are at the front of the trailer of the new Contractor XP. First thing we're gonna talk about is the 24 inch diamond tread gravel guard. Uh, prevent rock chips and things like that on the front of the trailer if you're pulling it down a gravel road or things like that. If you'll notice this trailer here is uh, white skin on the nose and on the sides. We do all, also offer black, silver, charcoal, and champagne or uh, no charge option skin colors that we can do uh, on this 050 skin here that we offer. Next thing we'll do, we'll look around here at our side door here. You've got a 36 inch uh, heavy duty welded on hinge side door. If you'll notice you've got four welded on hinges, uh, no screws, no rivets. Uh, so uh, makes it a lot harder to uh, get into this trailer with like a screw gun or something like that with the heavy hinges that are welded on the side door. Also, you've got uh, two latches here on the side door. Uh, you have this butterfly uh, paddle latch here that has a uh, place for a lockable lock there. Keep that lock, extra safety and security. And then you also have the RV style latch that's got a key here to open the side door. Get out of your way here and if you'll see, you've got a nice clean step, low profile step to step up in here. You've got a switch right here. Uh, for the inside lights, also a switch here. You notice you've got a porch light here. So extra light uh, outside if you're coming in and out of, uh, out of the side door. Now let's talk about the side wall, the outside side wall of the uh, Contractor XP. First thing we'll start with, we have 050 aluminum skin on the upper half. And then you have that 48 inch double wall extruded side slat that we done the test on a little while ago with the ball peen hammer. Uh, that's standard 48 inches high uh, on the Contractor XP. Also, you have the heavy duty fender on here. Uh, that fender is gonna be welded on. First thing that you see on a cargo trailer going down the road, a dented fender or something, it, it looks really bad. This is a heavy duty fender that's welded on. Uh, it's gonna be very, very durable and it's gonna look good uh, years to come down the road uh, on the trailer. Also, you can actually, I mean, it's heavy duty. You can use it as a workbench or something like that. Also on this trailer, if you'll notice, we like a lot of look and curb appeal here at Sundowner Trailers. So this trailer is gonna come standard with aluminum wheels. You also have the, your Goodyear radial tires. Also, you're gonna have electric brakes, four wheel electric brakes. And it, it also sets on a rubber torsion axle. So you've got a smooth ride with the rubber torsion axle. Uh, keep your tools and stuff from beating and banging around in the trailer when you're going down the road. Now we're at the back of the trailer here and we're gonna talk about the uh, rear of the Contractor XP. First thing we're gonna talk about are the double rear doors. Now if you'll notice on these double rear doors, they have the heavy duty welded on wraparound hinges. You've got four of those that are gonna be standard on the rear doors. You also have the full height cam latch here that's gonna lock the door at the top and the bottom. You also have this paddle latch here with a lock-in hasp where you can do the padlock just like we saw on the side door over there. 
Again, just like the side door, this is a designed and constructed door that we build right here in-house at Sundowner Trailers. You ask, why do you put the heavy-duty wraparound hinges on the rear doors? There's a couple of reasons why th that we do that. The first thing is, when I open this up, I can wrap this thing all the way around and latch it up against the fender so on a job site, it's out of the way. Also, the reason that we do four is we have these heavy-duty stowaway ramps on the rear of the trailer. Why do you have the stowaway ramps? If you're on a construction job site or something and you need to wheel something in, maybe a portable generator, uh, a work cart, work truck, something like that, you can roll that inside, but you're not losing any space inside the trailer. It's not taking up room in your sidewalls or anything like that. These are stored in these nice little case area here and the screw here is going to hold it up against the rear door where it's out of the way and you're not losing any space. Also, if you'll notice, the trailer has a rear spoiler with three work lights in there. So it makes it very bright out here if you're working at night. You've got a lot of light out here at the rear of the Contractor XP. A couple more things that we want to talk about on the Contractor XP is going to be our top ladder rack that we have on the top here. You'll also see the roller at the back just above the rear spoiler. Uh, really handy, helps you get that ladder up on top uh, of the ladder rack and I'll show you that here in just a minute. As I walk over here to reach this ladder again, we talked about that rear spoiler with the three work lights. I've got that simple switch right here to flip that on uh, for those lights at night time or whatever. Now I'm gonna grab this ladder here. Again, you've got that roller there to assist me. Then I've got the ladder up on top. And then all I'll do, and I'll show you in a little bit when we get up on top and talk about that ladder rack, how to strap those ladders down on top of the trailer. Now that we're inside the Contractor XP, there's some things that we want to talk about in here. Some things that Sundowner does different than a lot, most of the trailer manufacturers out there in the industry. If you'll notice this new sticker that comes standard on the sidewall of the trailer, we'll, I want to talk about some of these features that are in the Sundowner trailer. One thing that we have here is we have the wall frame roof rail. Okay, what is that? This is this full roof rail right here that runs the full length of the trailer. That's going to be standard on every Sundowner trailer built. Doesn't have to be a cargo. It's on our horse and livestock trailers. Uh, it's on every cargo trailer. Any trailer that Sundowner builds, it's gonna be standard on there. What that does, this actual roof radius sets on top of that top rail. Instead of being on the wall post itself, that full wall frame roof rail is right there. Also, the heavy duty 050 thick aluminum skin. We talked about that when we looked on the outside of the trailer, but very heavy duty 050 aluminum skin and that double wall side hollow core side slat that we beat with a ball peen hammer. Very important that we talked about. Here's what it's gonna look like on the inside. So if you can kick, beat, bang on it, it's not gonna dent, it's not gonna show up on the outside of the trailer. So we have that. Also, when you talk about the frame of the trailer, you have a four inch I-beam cross member that's set on 12 inch centers. Again, this trailer has a plywood floor. You say, well, why do you do a plywood floor versus an aluminum floor? The construction contract people, they've told us they like it because they can screw to it, they can build to it, they can spill stuff on it. It's not going to get slick. That's why we do the wood floor in the Contractor XP. Also, you'll see the spare tire up there in the front at the nose out of the way. That's going to be standard on the trailer. The Contractor XP comes standard 16 foot long, 6'9 wide, 6'6 tall, okay? Also, if you'll notice, it has extra aluminum tubular roof bows in the roof because we have that ladder rack up top. Also, this is a 040 one-piece aluminum roof. No matter how long or short the trailer is, it's always a one-piece aluminum roof. You don't have to worry about seams and things like that. Also, I'm gonna get up here a little further because I wanna show you the switch here with the lights. You have two lights inside. You've got a dome light, 12 inch LED dome light here at the front over your side door on the inside. And also you have one at the rear of the trailer. 
So that's going to be the things that are all going to be standard inside the Contractor XP. And now that we're on top of the all new Contractor XP, let's look at a few things here. You'll see the ladder in the front that I came up here. And now that you look at this actual ladder rack, you can also see in between here in the middle of the ladder rack, I have this nice walkway here so I can access anything that I've got up here on this ladder rack. We call it a ladder rack, but there's tons and tons of things that you can do in here uh, and put up here up top. You can do you can do plumbing pipe, you can do ladders, uh, plywood, all kinds of materials that, that you can store up here and strap down. When I said strap down, that means I've got these little rings here on each one of these H braces has one of these rings on both sides. So I can, I can hook me a strap in there and I can strap it down, keep it safe and secure when I'm towing the trailer down the road. Now let's recap what all we've seen and what all we discussed on the all new Contractor XP from Sundowner Trailers. We talked about the double wall holocore side slat that we beat with the Paul Bean hammer, how durable it was. We talked about the 050 skin. We talked about the heavy duty side doors and rear doors uh, that are built and constructed by Sundowner Trailers. We talked about the ladder rack on top. We also discussed that this trailer comes standard 16 foot, 6'9 wide, 6'6 six, six tall. Again, that is the standard Contractor XP. You can go wider, you can go longer, you can go taller. Those are all options that you can do if you choose. If you wanted to go 20 foot long, you want to go eight wide, seven tall. Those are all options that you can do that we offer here at Sundowner Trailers. You may even want to upgrade to a bigger axle or a bigger tire. You also, you might want to upgrade and say, I don't want the plywood floor. I want to do an aluminum floor. You can do that. That's an option here at Sundowner Trailers on the Contractor XP. If you want more information, you can go to our website at sundownertrailer.com or reach out to one of the local Sundowner dealers in your area about the all new Contractor XP from Sundowner Trailers.